An unusual day of drama unfolding in a Montgomery County courtroom in the case involving Katherine Hoggle. You probably remember her name. She's the mom accused of killing her two kids eight years ago. Hoggle has been in a state mental hospital ever since. The children have never been found. Well, this afternoon, a judge decided he needed to question her to determine if she's competent to finally stand trial. So she took the stand and spoke. Our Scott Broom was inside the courtroom and has more on what she said. Catherine Hoggle's doctor and attorney say she is absolutely incompetent to stand trial, even eight years after her children's disappearance. But today, in court here in Montgomery County, she accurately answered questions from a judge about the functions of the legal system. Hoggle, who wore a black surgical mask, was quiet but clear when answering the judge. She said she had heard of attorney-client privilege and described the legal concept as, quote, like a private conversation between someone and their lawyer. She said lawyers are the people who, quote, prosecute or defend patients and then corrected the word to clients. She stated her name and age accurately. It all lasted less than three minutes. Hoggle responded to the judge directly and without hesitation. Prosecutor John McCarthy here in Montgomery County has been arguing for months that a judge, not a doctor, is responsible for determining Hoggle's competence to stand trial. Today's decision by Judge James Bonifant to question her directly rather than relying on years of doctor's findings was bitterly opposed by Hoggle's attorney. Here's attorney David Felson this afternoon. She was able to answer basic questions about the legal process accurately. Why is that not competent? Because that's not the test of competency. Competency has two parts. Number one, do you understand the proceedings? And number two, are you able to assist in a reasonable, rational way in your defense? Do you think she can help you defend her? The answer is absolutely no. And it's not what I think, it's what the doctors have been saying for the last eight years. Psychiatrist Dr. Adam Brown, who has assessed Hoggle, said her answers in court did not change his opinion that she is psychotic, suffers hallucinations and disordered thought, and remains incompetent to stand trial. Judge Bonifant is the one who will have to decide. A final hearing is scheduled Wednesday. If Hoggle is not declared competent by December 1st, time runs out and murder charges against her must be dropped by state law. The children's father, Troy Turner, has said he's praying. A trial will result in Hoggle finally telling where missing children Sarah and Jacob's bodies were hidden. The children were two and three when they disappeared in 2014. In Montgomery County, Scott Broom, WUSA 9.